Hello friend, here in this video I am going to show you how to configure your Windows 8 computer as a Wi-Fi hotspot so that you could connect other devices to your computer's Wi-Fi and access the internet of your computer's connection. So to do that, first of all I need to connect my computer to internet using 3G USB modem. So as you can see I am connecting my computer to internet connection. So now that my computer is connected to internet, I want to share this particular internet connection with other devices using the Wi-Fi feature. Okay, so to do that, I need to first of all turn my computer itself into a Wi-Fi hotspot so that other devices could just find my computer's Wi-Fi and just connect to it and use the internet connection of, our, of my computer. So first of all, to do this, let us launch command from let us switch to a start screen, type cmd and right click on command prompt and we need to run it as administrator. So okay, command prompt is launched but before we go any further, first of all we need to make sure that our Wi-Fi is turned on. So as you can see Wi-Fi is turned on here. Now it is off, now it is on. So Wi-Fi is turn on, turned on, now I need to create an ad hoc wireless connection to turn my computer into a Wi-Fi hotspot. So let us now type few commands. You can just check these commands using the link given in the description section below. Net SH WLAN Shed Hosted Network SSID equal to so under SSID here you need to give your network a name so let us just give hotspot as the name and under key here you need to give your network a password so that any person uh, who wish to connect to your uh, computer's Wi-Fi computer's internet have to enter this particular password So as you can see the network is successfully created but it is not started. So let us just start this particular network that we just created. Ad hoc network. Start. As you can see the hosted network successfully started. Now on other devices like phones or tablets if we turn on Wi-Fi other devices will be able to scan our computer's Wi-Fi and they will be able to connect to our computer using the password that we just set up here. Now that we have created ad hoc wireless connection, we have turned our computer into Wi-Fi hotspot but still other devices will not be able to access or use our computer's internet connection unless we share our computer's main internet connection. So to share our computer's main internet connection, we need to visit Network and Sharing Center. This option is found in Control Panel as well. Now as you can see here uh, on the top, this relates to network, this is my network internet, the main internet connection using my 3G USB modem and this is the hotspot network that I just created so that other devices could connect to my computer's Wi-Fi. So as you can see here in my hotspot network connection as you can see there is no internet access while my 3G USB modem based internet uh, based connection I have internet access so I need to just share the internet connection of my 3G USB modem with my hotspot network. So that other devices connected to my hotspot network will be able to access internet connection. Go to properties, then to sharing, then allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection and I need to select the newly created internet connection from here and hit on OK and then close. Now as you can see just my newly created hotspot network and here under access tab you can see internet now it is showing us the internet that means that all devices 
that we have and if we connect our devices with our computer's main Wi-Fi network that is hotspot network that we just created they will be able to use our computer's main internet connection so this way we can share our computers our Windows 8 computers internet connection with any other devices running any operating system be it Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Android OS or whatever devices we have in our home we can just connect to our computer's main internet connection using the these methods that I have just shown you in this video tutorial. For a complete step by step guide and illustration, just visit the link given in the description section of this video below. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, log on to www.techotv.com.